Now that you know a bit more about how custom tags work, let's put that new knowledge at work in our website. So first, I go back to ColdFusion Builder and I will create a new folder at the root level of my project. So I will right click here on the name of my project, CF Training, and I create a new folder. I will call that new folder custom tags and this is where I will store the custom tags of my application of my website. I will right click on that new folder to create a new ColdFusion page in the folder and I will call that page front.cfm. That is going to be of course the first custom tag of my application. So the front.cfm is inside of the custom tags folder and of course it is completely empty. Now I will return to my includes folder and in my includes folder I will open my header.cfm file and I will copy paste the whole code. So Command A on the Mac or Control A on Windows to select the whole code of header.cfm and then I copy and paste it in front.cfm. Now we'll change the comment here at the end to end of header, for example. Now we'll do the very same thing with footer.cfm. So in the includes folder, I open footer.cfm and once again I select all the code here and I copy paste it at the end of the front.cfm page. I will change that command begin of footer. There we go. Now the front.cfm here is going to be a custom tag. So when I will call it, I will have the this tag scope and I can check with a CF if, if I am processing the opening or the closing tag. So I will use a CF if here to check if this tag dot execution mode is equal to start. In other words, if I'm processing the opening tag. And if I am processing the opening tag, then I need to output what used to be the header.cfm. If I'm processing the closing tag, then I use a CF else here, then I need to output what used to be the footer, and of course don't forget to close the CF if here at the end of the custom tag. Alright, now two little things to change here. First of all, I have changed the folder from which I call the login form.cfm. So here I need to change that CF include because from the custom tags folder I first need to go up one level to go back to the root level of my project, then I can go to includes, then I can find login form. So here I need to go up one level, then I go in the includes folder, then I find the login form.cfm. So that is one thing. The second thing that I will change in that file is the title. Instead of hard coding a title, I will use a CF output block, like that, that I open and close, and I will output the attributes dot title variable. So this is going to be an attribute that I will pass to the custom tag when I will call it. Now I will make this attribute optional using a CF param and I will give a default value to attributes dot title and the default value is going to be HD street band welcome. So this is the default value of that title attribute. Now let's close those files here and I will return to my home page to index.cfm. Now in this case I want to call the custom tag from index.cfm but the calling page which is index and the custom tag which is front are not in the same folder anymore. So I cannot use that CF syntax that I have used in the previous video. Instead, I will use here the CF module tag of ColdFusion and I will 
specify a template and the template that I want to use, that is the custom tag that I want to use. You see that I have select files folder here, so I will just hit the enter key and I will select inside of my project, inside of my custom tags, the front.cfm and you see that now Confusion Builder helps me fill that value. So template equal custom tags slash font.cfm, you show the way to that custom tag. Of course, I will close my CF module instead of including the footer.cfm. So here I will write a end CF module. There we go. And here my page is now ready. So if I run my home page in the browser, you see that it works. And if you take a look at the title of the page here, it's called HD Street Band Welcome. That comes from the default value from the CF param. Now let's use that same custom tag in another page. So let's go back to agenda.cfm and I will use the same CF module. So I will copy paste it from index. There we go. But this time I want to pass a title attribute and it will be HD street band. But now instead of welcome, I will write agenda like that and title equal there we go. And of course, instead of calling the footer.cfm here, I will instead close the CF module. There we go. And now when I run the agenda page, you see that it works. If I take a look at the debug output, you see that it has called the custom tag front.cfm. So CF module has called that tag. And you see also the title of that page here in the browser. HD Street Band Agenda. So this is how I can use custom tags now to customize the title of each page, which is something I could not do using regular CF include. Now there is some housekeeping to do in ColdFusion Builder because I don't need footer and header anymore. So I can safely delete those two files from my includes folder. Before moving on to the next video, there is a small exercise that you can do on your own. The step-by-step -step instructions are located in the PDF file whose name is now on your screen. And during that exercise, you will simply call the custom tag from the other pages of the website and customize, of course, the title attribute each time you call the custom tag. Take your time to perform this exercise and get used to that new procedure and when you will be done we will meet in the next video to experiment with the next code reuse technique of cold fusion.